Philip have gay sex. Mm-hmm. That's what That's we were correct. saying. That's correct. Yeah. That is correct. That is correct. Adam, uh, Adam was telling a cute story about how he uh, has a crush on Melfi from The Sopranos. Yeah, I mean, n- not the character. I, her and okay. Lorraine Bracco. In today's episode of Come Town, Adam uh, will be telling us about his cute crush on how cute. Mel- I saw how cute she acts in real life, and I my I crush was reinforced. Her. We already fucked. I already her. fucked. You didn't the fuck surprise, Lorraine Bronco. The surprise twist is that we've already she's already been fucked. <laughs> 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 her pussy is no more good, my friend. Yeah, sorry. She's been fucked. D- mm-hmm. My girl been done fucked. She hath been fucked. My. How <laughs> doth how doth thou pussy been fucked? <laughs> Fuck. There's a Tyler Perry movie. My nose won't stop. Bleeding. Woman, thou art really? loosed yeah. or something? No, there isn't. Is that Tyler Perry? There, women, thou art loosed. I believe that's the no, name of it. Man. <laughs> I'm gonna look no, it up. This, this Medea goes to the mall. No, yep. I'm gonna look it up. Uh, Diary of a big fat black bitch. <laughs> 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 Does it seem Tyler, Tyler Perry's uh damn damn that's a fucking Chinese guy. Yeah, yeah. That's another one. Tyler yeah, Perry's dude. Fat Suit Christmas. <laughs> it is a movie. No, it's a movie. What's it called? Verbatim. Woman Thou Art Loosed. Loosed from 2004. But it's not Tyler Perry. Mm. It was directed by Michael Schultz. It sounds like a Jew. It is a Jew. <laughs> it is. Um surprise twist. <laughs> Surprise twist is my new favorite, and I'm bringing news flash. Back. News flash, bitch. News flash. Your dick is small. You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> news flash. Uh, Breaking yeah, news. Uh, yeah. News flash. No one gives a shit. Uh, news flash. Uh, wrong. Yeah. News flash. Uh, news, no. News flash. Ron Paul is gonna be fucking president. So. <laughs> You can fucking suck my dick with that. Mm-hmm. Girls should be able to use whatever bathroom they What's want. What's up with shit. Ron Paul? He's he retired. We just got his son, Rand. Ron, Ron Paul. Bro, Ron bro, Paul. Bro, 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 big bro, up bro, Ron Paul. Big, yeah. <laughs> Number one selector, Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. The lion, <laughs> the lion of Texas. He is a gynecologist, isn't he? Yeah. That's the cool. lion of gyne. Look at pussy. The lion the colleges. The, the lion colleges. The Lord Selassie Ron Paul, <laughs> number one selector. <laughs> Rude boy Ron Paul. <laughs> uh, yeah, I consider myself a big R Rastafarian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe that the government shouldn't be involved in anything except, uh, you know, DJing. <laughs> yeah. The role of the government is to facilitate dance hall parties. Yeah, a classical Rastafarian. <laughs> <laughs> That's not actually true. Classical Rastafarianism has a lot more in common with today's liberals than it does mm. conservatives. Mm, you know, right. I mean, you, people talk about. Bipartisan Big Ten politics, Rastafarians often get thrown mm-hmm. in with evangelicals and right. conservative Christians. But the truth is, is they think you should be able to do whatever you want except have gay sex. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> they hate gay people. Yeah. No body boys. No is body what they say. That's you should, huge. Yeah. Uh, you can have parties whenever mm-hmm. you want. Yep. Freedom mm-hmm. of assembly. Freedom of assembly. Freedom to dagger a fat white bitch yes. in a video. Public daggering. <laughs> On a cruise ship. <laughs> drugs, <laughs> drugs are allowed. <laughs> oh, absolutely drugs mm-hmm. are allowed. Yeah, just some middle-aged woman just getting her pussy getting rammed mm-hmm. on a fucking carnival cruise. Mm-hmm. Repeal the police. That's right. That's a big thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're gonna repeal the police. What's that video of like Gary Johnson saying that like somebody asked him a question? They were like, "Should dr- we have drivers license?" It was at the Libertarian debate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and everyone's like, like, "Absolutely not, yeah. absolutely not." And Gary Johnson's like, "Maybe," and everyone's yeah. like, "Boo!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm shocked they didn't boom for the age of consent too. Did they? Did they talk about that? I'm sure that's. Did he up. say that there should be one? I, we should look up libertarian debates and see them talk about age of consent. Yeah, that's all us. <laughs> I remember. I just had like a flashback to being in some comics house in Los Angeles, like 
uh, I don't know, like seven years ago. Mm-hmm. And I was ch- uh, chained to with, like the radiator. And, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, I was sitting in this guy's living room and like, his roommate was there and his roommate was some like bald guy with a beard, mm-hmm. you know, who had like probably an IPA in his hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like a libertarian guy. And Hell he's doing yeah. that libertarian thing where they argue with you by looking at the ceiling and just repeating yep. things. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. Like, no it, eye contact. It literally doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Like he just, <laughs> <laughs> he was getting like so upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're like, no, they did. They tried that, man. It ended up with like children in factories. And he's like, that is not the same thing. <laughs> that is not the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, he was just furious. Yeah, that people thought that his ideas were dumb. Yeah, being libertarian is gay. It's gay to have those beliefs. I don't know. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like, libertarianism makes sense if you don't, like, think about things at all. It makes sense. (laughs) It makes sense if you don't have inheritance. If 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 you do have inheritance. No, if everyone starts off at zero dollars, then it makes sense. But Mm. here's the thing. But if certain people inherit millions of dollars, then... Libertarianism is kind of like sweatsuits, right? Okay. Well... No, no. Here's the thing. It, they make sense. They're practical, mm-hmm. right? I mean, it's like, it's this idea. It seems like, oh, yeah, it's it's very cheap. This is elastic. There's no way to get your penis caught in the zipper. Yep. That, you don't, okay. have, to worry, you don't right. have to worry about any of these things. But in in actual practice, you're just some piece of shit without a job that's living off his mom wearing <laughs> sweatpants. <laughs> yeah. You just you don't have real pants. No one's going to hire you. Right, right. You don't mm-hmm. have any real skills. You're just I, a fucking bum living I off. I feel like that's the... T- the I resent... Sweatsuits being compared to libertarian. You're not wearing sweatsuits. You're I wearing, know. First of all, those are like probably a hundred and ten dollar track pants. But what I'm saying is, yes, they are. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> yeah. wearing, second of all, they're looking designer, real cute. A designer razzle dazzle sweatsuit. Yes, and I look cute. <laughs> you look like <laughs> but a, number a, a two, battleship from World War One. <laughs> yeah, number two, a very powerful battleship, um, an uh, an instrument of death and destruction. That's that every correct. battleship. So you just yes. we can just say battleship. We don't need to no, elaborate. I am a specifically You're powerful, a, li- a literal, a, 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 a very large, a very fat, large <laughs> one. No, well, just giant, that, powerful, giant battleship. Powerful is the key there. The key is, do I happen to be large? Yes. Barge like? Yeah. No, not barge. Humans are living on. Top of you, yeah, maybe planes Bar- taking off. If that's what it takes to be powerful and guys with flags, filled, destructive, filled yeah. with steam, <laughs> yeah, steam to power you to shoot weapons at, at <laughs> fucking weapons. enemies, it's filled with a bunch of hot air and no. semen. Yeah, it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big bard. <clears throat> um, but anyway, sweatsuits are a beautiful creation that are better than libertarianism. I feel like all of the people that are most... I would like to be morbidly obese for a week. What? I think that would yeah, be fun. Yeah, me too. That, would, when, be like, you know, that like, would be fun. Like Bender it. turns human for a week and dies immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would, uh, yeah, I want to have... That would be fun to be morbidly obese. i try yeah. it out. You know, it's like, as the trans surgery progresses, if we ever get to a point where you just step in a machine like the mm-hmm. fly... And you can just change anything. Yeah. yeah. Boom, I, fat bastard. I, well, I mean, I would do one week as a big, loud black lady. Mm-hmm. You know, just try them out. I would do everything. I would do one life as a big, loud black lady. I would, I, why, like, I would try, I would love to be just to, like, you wouldn't know. It, wouldn't it be expensive, though? It would be. But so is, like, renting a car. But every time I go to Enterprise, I got to go on a trip. I'm like, let me try the Kia Sorento this yeah. time. Mm-hmm. I know it's a piece of shit. I could have the Dodge Charger. Mm-hmm. But fuck it, you know? Yep. Varieties to the spice of the life. Spice of life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh yeah. But what's <laughs> actually the spice of life is Old Bay seasoning. Mm-hmm. I'm sponsoring the <laughs> Comtown. <laughs> it's the spice of the state of Maryland yeah. as well. Go to oldbay.com and use promo code Blue Chew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they had those machines, everyone would just. I would just hop in it and just be me, but I'm six. Five and I have beautiful hair and my dick is huge. So you would be not you. I would be me, but those things. <laughs> you mean some minor soul. tweaks? So you would remove <laughs> some, mi- <laughs> some <laughs> very minor <laughs> tweaks at the margin. You would remove your very essence. <laughs> no, I would be me, but yeah. I would be larger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, keep my same weight, but uh, pr- uh, spread it over a six ball, five. Ball frame. doesn't really uh, bother you. Mm-hmm. No, not really. It bothers a lot of people. Yeah, I, I guess be. you look good with sh- a shaved head. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. No, I, uh, I couldn't do it. You know I have this massive mole on top of my yeah, head. Yeah, 
No, you could do it. You don't have the heart. heard about your mole. Listen, I know. Neither I go you, on about this. Neither mole of you all has time. the heart to step into. If we eat Freaky Friday body switch, I would be really you sad. You would kill yourselves immediately. No, the fat. You thing, don't have the heart. I think the bald thing. I, would be I, really I mean, sad I technically about. have the heart. <laughs> exactly. Nick convinced himself he was going bald for a month and would not it's shut up about yeah. it. It was a nightmare, dude. Yeah. It was because I never really considered. You know what's funny? My hairline receded a little bit when I was 20, and I was like, oh, cool. I didn't yeah, care. Right. And then it started happening again when I was 26. And I guess like. No, don't chew gum. It, it coin. Yeah. What are you doing? Why are don't you putting, chew gum on the podcast? You're going pod. out of your way to take gum that isn't yours to <laughs> chew it on the podcast. <laughs> I don't gum care that, that you're stealing mine, Nick's gum. gum, but I don't want you to chew on the pod. I'm not going to chew on the pod. I just want to freshen my breath. You will Anyways. chew on the pod. Wait fucking uh, 50 you know, minutes. Here's, here's, here's why right, going I bald doesn't chew. bother you because it happened in like when you were like 20, 21. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, well, I, I had no, I had like no real indication of anything I until I was like 26, and I was already kind of like, you know, like, like I'm just getting older. What am I doing? I'm gonna die someday. And then mm-hmm. it was like this physical, like, oh shit, yeah, I'm just my like life short. You're gonna like die. It wasn't like a, a, a like looks thing so much as just like a reminder that of death. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, but if it was a, if it if you did go bald, it would mm-hmm. become a looks thing. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and I would be done. Done so. That would be it for me. N- absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I've always convinced myself that like I'll never get a full sexy beard, but I'll the, never go bald for a long. The time. The flip side though is if you're not balding at least a little bit in your forties, you look weird. No, you look great. No, old guys with nice hair fucking. No, no they, look, they look they good. look good. They look weird. Dude. They look good. no. Nah, you gotta have some kind of recession, or you look absolutely fucking weird. not. That's so dumb. John Kasich, John Kasich has an eight-year-old boy's hairline. John and Kasich's thickness. hair looks. Gr- if he didn't, if he wasn't like a weird-looking politician, he'd look good. No. Mitt Romney looks great. Mitt Romney does not look great. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. What's what are you talking of, about? Shut up. What are you out of your mind? Let me look at Mitt Romney right now, and I guarantee he you, looks, I, my Mitt penis will not move. <laughs> but he also looks good. Hold on, hold like on. Boost. Pull your cock out so I can see. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm looking at Nick's dick. He's looking at Mitt Romney. I'm not. I actually. It's getting bigger. Oh no, my god. Not. It oh, is. Getting it's getting smaller. <laughs> oh, no, dude. It's fucking. It looks like somehow your dick licked its lips. Yeah. I don't know how it's possible. No, 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 no. A little no, here's, here's what I'm saying. Look at look yeah. at Mitt Romney's hairline. Looks good. No, but it's it's definitely he has like. Definitely. No, recession. he's definitely got plugs. Yeah, he's you de- think so? Well, even if he doesn't he have perfect, even no, if he, even if he has even if he has plugs, they're not plugging his fucking hairline all the way. Your point is saying yes. Now look and at John. Look at John Kasich. Well, he just has a bad haircut. John Kasich's just ugly though, and he, he eats like a bunch of lasagnas and shit. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, what the look, fuck are you talking? No, about? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? When he, Adam. when he went to the Bronx, yeah, he ate you're all not the a food. Fuck. John Kasich's ugly and he eats a lot of lasagnas. <laughs> 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 it's true. That's true about him. Yeah. You don't. You just no, don't look at his his hairline. He's got he's got like a little boy's haircut. Dude, his hair looks great. It's gray. If you but look at if you watch like Easy Rider or Five Easy. An old pieces, guy with nice hair looks fantastic. That's that's like saying an old an old lady with a nice tits looks weird. How has Jack always been balding but never gone full bald? Some people don't go all like the way. Like in the bald. 70s he looked balding and now he looks bald. He still he yeah. doesn't look some people, some people only go his that hairline bald. never receded. I was, some, it's like how your beard doesn't fill in yeah. all the way. I mean right. You know. I was so holding like on the Jack Nicholson of beards. Now when I was 20 I was holding on to the idea that, that I just like have that. thin hair. Oh, thin. Yeah. yeah. And of course it was a, you a said that was so funny. Too. I remember cuz you came to you came to like the draft house one night and you're like my fucking girlfriend was looking up Rogaine for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Poor, poor girl. Yeah. Really, just a sinking ship. It's she was so on. funny to imagine you having a girlfriend now. Yeah. <laughs> She's yeah. great. She's a nice, nice woman. She wanted me to have. She wanted me to have Rogaine. She wanted me to like. She didn't care that I was fat, actually, which is like crazy. Mm-hmm. But. Yeah, you were so fat back. I then, was too. fat as a little, little shit. Yeah, you didn't have knees. It was tough. But I was still powerful. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> I could still fuck it. All you want. <laughs> that, I, that, straight up, I looked like a body you found in the river back then. Not now. No, people don't. Oh, like down. bloated after. Dude, like, I was like fucking a bloated. Corpse. I, lo- I straight up did look like the blueberry kid from. Yeah, he looked uh, like he ate Luka a bunch Salt. of weird lasagnas. Yeah. And no, shit. no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <I> look- <laughs> Violet Beauregard. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Was that? 
Violet Beauregard. Violet bitch? Yeah, yeah. Veruca Salt was the rich bitch. Who's the fat kid? Didn't he die also? Augustus Gloop. Augustus Gloop. But he yeah. he just died in the None fucking... None of the kids died. What is this, the Charlie and the Chocolate right. Factory? Yeah. Yeah. That is correct. Mm. Did you guys used to get scared at the tunnel Yeah, scene? it was weird. Why did they put that in there? It's a movie know. for kids. Gene was fucking I barely the money remember that. I like wanted to cry. I'm, I'm, go- I'm going to molest you. I don't know. Wasn't and there, round and round wasn't it goes. There another book that wasn't Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? James and the Giant Peach? No, I don't mean a completely separate, different thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Roald Dahl did that. I yeah, do. there was did a I Willy mean? Wonka and the Charlie Chocolate Factory and a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, Charlie. What? No, there wasn't. Yeah, but I think the movie was dissimilar from the books. No. I think that it didn't follow the Charlie book. and the Great Glass Elevators. Yeah, right? that was it. Oh, okay. But they had was the that Glass Elevator. Doll? That it's the sequel to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. They had the Did Glass Roald Elevator. Did Roll Doll write that? Uh yes. Roll nice. Bitch. How do you get such a dumb name? I think it's what is that? Dutch? His, well, his name was Adam Friedland, and they were like, We That's have to change cool it to name. something. Uh, less gay. Yeah. Uh, maybe his parents were Scottish and his name was supposed to be Ronald. Roald. Roald. What Roald. about Raul? His name's Roald. <laughs> what about Raul, dog? You don't see well, we Raul. We ran out of ends at the children's hospital. All the ends had to go for the war <laughs> effort in North Africa. <laughs> They had to use all the ends for war rations to the sew. Letter, the actual they letter need N. S- letter the N. N letter N. They're bringing the letter N to North Africa to use in the Stepping war. Stepping in to explain the bit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he means a letter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got Norwegian parents. Nice. Oh, sick. He drew weird. What was J- Did now, he do James the, the drawings giant peach. and the stories? Did he eat the peach? Yeah. No, the peach he flew good. in no, the, the peach. The peach lands to, on the Empire State Building. To New York, mm. yeah. He got birds. He tied the, the peach to birds. So it's like up? So it would go up. <laughs> oh, like it is like up, up. Like the movie up. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Was it birds? Does I he ever eat birds. the peach? That's the story up of... Up was uh, balloons. Yeah. That's the story yeah. of a, 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 a boy, a pastoral boy, disobeying his aunts, who only want the best for him, to go to the big city where a bunch of fucking... Urban stuck up, yeah, pieces of shit. Uh, uh, criticize his provincial roots and shit on mm. on the aunts and mock them at the end. Mm. And the moral is that betrayal is okay. <laughs> Wait, are the aunts cunts? Yeah, the aunts are cunts. He's like comes oh. from like some weird, he's from the middle of nowhere, right? right? He's got those cunt aunts, and he's trying to get his dick sucked out, out yeah. in NYC. And yeah, yeah. yeah. trying to. What year does it take place? Figure like the seventies? No, it stuff. takes place in the nineteen thirties because the Empire what? State Building is the tallest building in the world at the time. The thirties. Yeah. Was there good pussy in New York I, here's, in the thirties? Here, here's oh, the best. This is this is this is how <laughs> this is an autism thing about me. Yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. watching that movie as a kid. And learning that the and Empire State... screeching when it was when you were like, there's a taller building! <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, not, 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 not that there was a taller building. I thought the Empire State Building was the tallest building in the world, and then I found out that, that wasn't true, and I was like, why the fuck didn't anyone tell me? <laughs> I remember being upset that I had incorrect information from that movie. I had a tall towers phase when I was a kid. Okay, I didn't have a phase. I just I, I, was I learned incorrect information towers. from a movie where a boy inhabits a giant peach <laughs> filled with talking <laughs> bugs. <laughs> and you were mad about <laughs> mad the mad factual <laughs> inaccuracies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, the fuck. I didn't understand that it was. Oh, yeah, the bugs were big, too. Yeah. It, mm, there was nice. like a worm. Was yeah. there ever a sexy bug? Yeah, a ladybug, probably. Nice. Or like a. Do you guys ever read those books about fudge, super fudge and shit like that? Yeah, Judy Bloom. Judy, Judy Bloom. I told you guys, we, we got, she also, I was into all those books. And then and you then read I got, Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret. Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret. And it, and, and it resonated with you like no, no other my, book ever. I told my mom, I was like, what is going on? This girl's got blood coming out of her pussy in this book. <laughs> and then she went back to the library with me and yelled at the librarian in front of me and said, my son is not mature enough to find this kind of stuff out. <laughs> I want to do this in our home, not with your <laughs> sinful books. I used to fuck with Judy Bloom, dude. Yeah, dude, Fudge Mania. I fucked with Fudge. Tales dude. of a Fourth Grade Nothing. Uh-huh. That's how I felt in fourth grade, dog. Like a fourth grade nothing. Yeah. Damn, I used to love reading when I was a child. Why am I fucking stupid now? All those books, The Wayside or whatever the fuck, with that fucked up. 
that fucked up school. And there the was upside down school. Some bitch had an ear on her head and shit. <laughs> <laughs> she was hiding it under a hat. What? Uh, you ever wa- you ever read those uh, all by the wayside books or whatever the fuck? No. It's like a school that's upside it's down. It's all fucked up. Yeah, shit's shit is weird as fuck. Up. What's weird yeah. about it? I don't know. Guys are girls and <laughs> girls are guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They, whoever wants uses any bathroom. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, real yeah. fucked up. It's a young boy that lives with his parents by the sea in England. On James's birthday, they plan to go to New York. And then I guess his parents die. His parents are killed by a rhinoceros from the sky. What the that's fuck? Right. That's yeah. right. That sucks. So he has to go live with his aunts, Spiker and Sponge. Oh, yeah. There's some, a couple dumb bitches. Yeah. Who are the bad guys' names in uh, Power Rangers? Bones and Spook? The putties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was like the No, putties. the two like punk rocker guys. No, not the no, putties. Teen, the guys. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No. No, 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 no. no, no. The fat, there was in a the fat high guy and a skinny that they guy. go to. Mm. Bulk and Sulk. That was it. Bulk and Sulk. I thought they were named like salt. Boner or something. Yeah, I thought no, so. No, Boner's too. from... That one movie, that one show with James Cameron. I think there were a lot of shows where there was a character named Boner. No, we there's kids. only one. I don't know. There's only That's one how bitch. I remember it. Uh, but all uh, the Bulk, it, Bulk and Skull. Ah, uh, but all the Power Rangers shit was just like all the actual action was from Japan, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. And they it just was some Israeli in. guys. Like, like I'm gonna look, steal this here, Japanese action. Here's, here comes me and Stav. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a fat guy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That looks more like me. Yeah, no, you're honest. not. A, you're not a part of the. No, Rangers. I look more like. That. You're the yellow Power Ranger. Yeah, <laughs> the Asian girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's you. Trini, she's dead. R.I.P. Yeah. That'd be great. There's a yellow Power Ranger, a white Power Ranger, a black Power Ranger, and then a Jewish Power. The Ranger. Blue Ranger, <laughs> Billy. Yeah. Oh he right, was a yeah. Jew. Yeah, yeah, I guess he is Israel. Israel. Zion. Israel. How come both Jamaicans and Israel talk about Zion? Um, and Ethiopia and the Matrix. And Don't the that. and the Matrix. We've just discovered what I like to refer to as a pedophile conspiracy. <laughs> Every type of pedophile coming together. Mm. Farkas, Bulk, Bulkmeyer, and Eugene Skull Skullovich. <laughs> Skullovich. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Should we reboot Power Rangers? Yeah. Well, I, it was already rebooted. It's been rebooted a bunch. This is, this is so like. funny. When you click on the actor's page for the guy who played Bulk on Power Rangers... Uh huh. Brings up his Wikipedia page, and then it's him, now old, fat as shit, speaking at Comic Con, and it's like, uh, just imagine you got your fucking dumb oh lanyard on. And you're like, oh, at three p.m. we have to go hear Bulk from Power Rangers a gu- a speak. Guy I don't even remember, <laughs> yeah. and I loved Power Rangers as a child. Yeah, yeah. that's horrible. Uh, oh my god, has he done anything else? What else has Bulk been in? Filmography. Uh, Die Gunder, he played Bo Rex, Bone Rex, <laughs> Eagle Riders, Ali Kiwani. He played what? A, a the Japanese te- person? Techno Man, he played Techno Man Saber slash Kane Carter. <laughs> oh, he works. He played Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. He, in Masked Rider, he played Firebug. <laughs> <laughs> Power Rangers Zeo, Power Rangers Turbo, Power Rangers in Space, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Oh, he, he got works. to be in all of those? Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, Power Rangers Time Force. Power Rangers, Jesus Christ, there was a lot of Power Rangers But But movies. wait, they kept the same guys? The same bullies? Yeah. Didn't they change out the other cast? They became they the They changed teachers. the whole cast. He stayed in all of them. Wow. Good Mega 64. He's like Screech. He just hung around. Hell yeah. You guys ever watch the Screech sex tape? Yeah, of uh, course. I never saw it. It's weird. You fucking weirdo. Damn, Damn, I, pros- the, I wonder how fucking like bad this is. to make it with them. <laughs> Mega 64 is a comedy web series centered on video games created by Rocco Bate, Derek Acosta, and Sean Chatfield. Formed in 2003, originally conceived to be a public access television show, the original five episodes were later released on DVD. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Originally conceived to be public yeah. access, but yeah, we could get a could not make the cut. <laughs> yeah, it's like when like you you see like somebody that's like a like kind of like timid and not sure of himself. The bundle they're about to like throw garbage at the trash, but they're like, I'm, I'm just yeah. gonna put it, and then they still like miss it. Yeah, <laughs> they miss the layout. They miss yeah, <laughs> even walking up to the garbage to throw away their fucking sketch comedy. <laughs> I got. I want to see this. Bulk and sulk. Uh, in you addition think to Vivid ever like gave them money, offered them money to have gay sex? Did they that? release it, Vivid? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Vivid used to get all the celebrity I know. sex tapes. And anytime anyone was famous, even for like a hot second, uh-huh. they'd offer them like $2 million to do porn. Here's my take. Kim Kardashian looked a thousand times better in the sex tape than currently. You don't like her now all surgery. I liked up. her with a big nose. I liked her looking way more Armenian. No, I like her looking like a fucked up sexy That cyborg. sex tape is sick. Uh, it's not good. She's, it's not good. She's oh, getting you can the barely shit see her titties. Look at the, you look can only see her titties I like for a see, second. I like the seeing her get the shit. Show. Hell yeah. The world is about to hit reset. Because <laughs> you get it? Because it's a video game. Mm-hmm. Sketch and comedy show. I can't wait to watch it. That's the thing. We'll watch it next and review it for you guys on the next episode. I, I feel like I feel like I watch Nanette and I'm like Neo sitting in the dojo and I'm like, are you saying comedy's ruined? And then Morpheus leans in and he shows me all of the comedy that's been happening my entire life. He's like, no, I'm saying comedy's always been bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I guess he's right. <laughs> Except for Mega 64, dude. That oh, shit yeah, looks yeah. good. Oh, yeah, the best. Did you see, have you seen the Kim Kardashian sex tape, Nick? With Ray J? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Adam says it's really good. I think it was good. I jacked off to it. I mean, I jacked off to it, of course. What, I mean, I don't even know how to qualify, like, pornography as good. Uh, is, does it, how, how much did you come? <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, that, not, that depends <laughs> on a ton of different... <laughs> Did you drink a lot of water <laughs> that day? Yeah. Did you bust? How recently did yeah. you bust before that? Mm-hmm. There's a whole list. No, of but you know, you know if a porno is good or not. You don't have go-to videos you go back to to jack off to. Very no, rarely. Not really. What? There was one video in that I used to jack off to for like a couple months. Which one was that? When I was a younger man. What was it? There was this porn star who I it's, think uh, I found out the got music AIDS. video to um, uh, what's that Chris Isaac song? <laughs> Wicked Games. <laughs> Wicked Games. <laughs> yeah. Come on, I gave that to you. No, you didn't give it to me. I said, Kate Moss. "What's that fucking Chris Isaac song?" And you answered me, "You didn't give that to me." Come on, I gave that. There's to this you. one. God <laughs> damn it, I hate you. There's this girl. You, you gave that to There's me. There's this girl named Naomi. She, oh, I know. And Naomi. she had a the green, big ass. She had a big ass, and she Little wore titties, a big green ass. bikini. Oh, I've seen that one. I checked. That out was to that one, one of my faves. <laughs> that's a that's a classic. That was when I was she's like, in like a 17. hallway. She's like in this like in this, big like, house, yeah, with Miami, a ha- like, like nice empty hallway. mansion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. That's a good one. And she was getting fucked standing. Yeah, up, I remember. yeah, yeah. That was yep. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I love the idea of Adam beating off to that Chris Isaac. But apparently, she got eight. Take my breath away by Berlin. Oh yeah, yeah. What's suck the my video dick for that? Um, bom, bom, bom. Yeah, suck my I have sex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, the I'm only gay. music video I've ever jacked off to is that Rod Stewart one with the little kid. Forever Young. <laughs> <laughs> I showed you that one. Yeah, it's so suck good. Suck on my dick. Let's, as long I as want we're, to suck as long as we're onto giving people your things. Dick. Let's he, not, let's, that's not even his son, right? Be, no, of course not. It's, it's just, some, just a random child actor. Some boy with red hair that he's like kissing on the cheek. What? Yeah. You've never seen, never seen it? it. It's, oh, it's so funny. It's my favorite music video. It's so that funny. Fucking rules. <laughs> He's like uh, hugging and kissing and this, it's like, this my, kid that's not even his son. Yeah, yeah. My favorite thing about things like that, it's like, it's a risk and it wasn't worth it. Right. It's yeah. like, you did it for this song that's garbage. Mm-hmm. There's already a better song called Forever Young mm-hmm. that everyone knows. There's Wait, two it's not other songs song that's Forever Young. That's the Alphaville song. That's Alphaville. And then there's the Crosby, dick. Stills, Nash, and Young one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the Rod Stewart? How's the Rod Stewart? Forever Young. Uh, yeah. Forever, Forever Young. young. Yeah, yeah. But Rod Stewart's not gay, is he? Or a pedophile? He's uh, both. <laughs> <laughs> no, Barry Manilow's gay. I always, I don't, don't want to, you know. You gotta I always be careful about going on. He the got cum on in stuff, his so. stomach, pumped out, dude. Oh, yeah, hold on. Two <laughs> liters of semen. Yeah, that's true. Especially when it comes to more. What is it? I don't know. This is just an advertisement. <laughs> I'm I'll play on the show. I'm waiting for the song. <laughs> but, but doesn't Barry Manilow <laughs> seem like a gay version of Rod Stewart? Yeah. Yeah, they both got spiky hair. Who are all those? Like the the best of that era are all the guy, white guy, the British guys that sound like black men. 
<laughs> Michael McDonald. Which, Michael Bar- McDonald's not Michael British. McDonald's not British. Yeah, but you know what I mean. He's White a doobie guys, brother, man. Like you know what I mean, though. The, all those like uh, just that whole, like Van Morrison. Yeah, no, Van Morrison. Van Morrison. Sucks ass. Van Morrison. But he's is like a, a British, British guy, guy that sounds, sounds sort of like jazzy. A guy. Yeah. Maybe he sounds a little jazz. I hate Van Morrison. I like Van Morrison. I, a lot. Uh, Van Morris. Anytime a fucking Van Morrison <laughs> song comes on, I'm going to peel my skin off. We've had nah, this dude. argument before on the pod. There's a couple good ones. Sucking in the moonlight. You my asshole girl. Getting my dick fucked. Mm. Sucking uh, in the moonlight. This is not illegal. We're discussing the song. It's for the show. It's educational. Yeah, this song. Oh, that's not his son? <laughs> no, it's just a boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like he's like holding the kid, and then he just like burps and a little bit of cum spills on the kid's face, and he's dabbing his mouth with the handkerchief. <laughs> Who is a British guy that sounds black from that era, though? Um, I can't even. Maybe I, I, know what maybe you're I don't mean. About. Is Rick Astley British? I think. Oh, he was. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like a guy like that. And he um, did Steve like- Winwood is he British? I don't, I don't think he was. Yeah, Steve Suckwood, um, um, Michael McDonald. Was it uh, Boz? Boz Skaggs? I don't know. I don't actually know anything about music. Yeah, me either. <laughs> but I know what I'm. Nick talking. Nick knows a lot about music. <laughs> I, uh, that uh, <laughs> secretly. Look, there's. I got a thing. He in knows my, a lot about '90s I, music. I have like a vague image in my head of like what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Figure it out, <laughs> Rick. I, I think Rick Astley is a perfect example. Yeah, yeah, but I don't. I think he's British. Who cares? Who cares? My really dude. Who cares? Yeah, there was a weird like resurgence of like when I started comedy. It was weird because it was guys that are like our age now that were doing before. It was like all that remember the '90s bullshit. There was like Rick Astley was. I remember a lot of people doing Rick Astley jokes. That's funny. Like the re- like Anchorman, like that era, like late seventies right, right, kind of. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that was big actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of in guys. DC. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. lot of guys like. A lot of guys the, basically doing Anchorman. Basically doing. <laughs> like, <Anchorman. laughs> mm. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. I come yeah. into the office. I say, Sharon, how's it going? Right, right. Make sure you have those copies on my desk, my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. stuff. Absolutely. Like, is, is there a joke here? Yeah, or just, yeah. yeah. Uh, Supposed you're supposed to be an office man. There were there was a weird character thing going on in DC. Yeah, people would do characters wait and like at their whole set. Yeah. Not like that Zach Galifianakis. I have some characters to do things. They were not. Fun. I mean, Larry Poon's still hilarious. Yeah, Remember but that? there was like knockoffs of Larry Poon. I feel like were there? Yeah, who was doing knockoffs? I would see that. See, because Larry Poon was unique. That wasn't like uh, that wasn't like a uh, that. I I still don't know really how you would place Larry Poon. No, it wasn't Larry Poon. It was like there were maybe this is what Baltimore is like, where someone literally went and because Baltimore comics were famous for stealing just shit from DC comics. Yeah. <laughs> That's how dumb Balt- people from Baltimore are. Yeah. They think an hour away, no one's ever gonna be gonna yeah. find out you're doing someone else's act. Yeah, there were guys doing like really shit, like a really shitty Larry Poon. That's hilarious. Um, and and also there was, I mean, uh. You know, we had the Irish comic. Uh, oh yeah, doing character work. Doing a, <laughs> doing a, <laughs> yeah, doing a Scottish accent, wearing a kilt, and then, <laughs> and then thirty minutes in, he's just <laughs> like, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I was at the uh, the down at the the dairy and uh, <laughs> picking up some fucking uh, bagpipes with uh, <laughs> my bo- my friend, my boyo Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, well, on my one of the first open, uh, one of the first like Magoobies contests I did, mm-hmm. some guy blew the light uh, because he had some. What bit was the light's name? And you were the guy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you were the guy. Uh, he, uh, they cut his mic off because he wouldn't stop doing a bit where he acted out eating pussy, and his big closer was he had a dildo. That he put on his chin, uh-huh. <laughs> and, then, and, he, and he was just like they literally cut his. He ran the light by like because he put strapped minutes. a dildo on yeah. his chin. <laughs> that was like no one was laughing. Mm-hmm. He was just like going like he was like putting the dildo like hitting people oh, in the, with the dildo in the face. Yeah, 
Oh, man, that was so awesome. I remember there was a guy named Fubu who stole the microphone from Wiseacres. <laughs> <laughs> the physical microphone. Yeah, he stole the microphone because he, like, signed up three times in a row and they wouldn't put him up. Just, like... <laughs> And he was. And like, he named himself after the American <laughs> sports brand. He was like, he was like, yo, what's up? Y'all wanna? Yeah, he was a white guy named Fubu. And he goes, you wanna see uh, the fly microphone bit? And he like unplugs the microphone. He's like, the microphone will fly around like this, huh? <laughs> fly around like this. And he like gets off stage. He's like, flies over here, flies over here, flies all the way around here, and just left the club. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and he just stole it. Good for him. Yeah. That's a, that's a good idea if yeah. you need a microphone and then that i rocks. think it was like joe robinson or someone that like reached out to him and they were like dude that was hilarious it was like can we uh like you should come on our podcast and talk about it and then they just like gave all of his information to the police <laughs> <laughs> at the end they're like oh. oh yeah hey by the way like we forwarded all your information to the police and the club's pressing charges <laughs> 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 This guy thought he had his big break. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, what is a fucking thing? What does a mic cost? I don't know. No, they're not cheap, dude. How much was this mic? A hundred bucks? Nah, bucks. dude. Easily. It's thousands. Six thousand dollars. Four thousand. Four th- that's why we understand. get the best audio I quality. Sound quality. I, I invested yeah. probably my, my entire life savings into the show when <laughs> yeah. it started. Before, yeah, before you started. You're going to start cost. making money back. The yeah, yeah. I, honestly, I'm looking at the chart Nick has up here. Mm-hmm. April 2020, he's in the black, baby. Yeah. 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 He took out a big-ass loan for I this recorder. <laughs> <laughs> he owes a lot of money around town. <laughs> mm-hmm. I owe to money some to, really shady to, customers. To the tongs. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> is Tong a Filipino? No, a Tong is like a Chinese like uh, crime family. Oh, okay. Not they don't always need it because they're just social clubs, you know. But then there's also a criminal element. Mm, that's fucking cool, dude. The Chinese are awesome. That is awesome. So everyday motherfuckers are just mingling with the criminals. Yep. Nobody can tell them apart. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding in plain sight. <laughs> the, <perfect Just>, <laughs> the beginning of a chase scene in a movie yeah, yeah, yeah. where a cop is trying to find a Chinese bird. Yeah, the guy's literally gets, wearing like a red jacket. Yeah, yeah. It's so easy and to tell gets, who it is. He just yeah. gets off a train and, and he's like, That's oh, why no, we're in right. Chinatown. Yeah. <laughs> That's why people think they're owning Asians by saying they all have small dicks. It's like, yeah, well, good luck figuring out which one did the rape. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's true. They all mm-hmm. uh, have the small dick. That's right. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. how they. The perfect, that's how they. <laughs> the perfect crime. Because that's what mm-hmm. happens when you press rape charges. They show you pictures <laughs> of the guy of a bunch of dicks. <laughs> it's like a lineup. <laughs> <laughs> you can't decide. That's what happened to me. Yeah. That's what happened to me when I got punched. They yeah. Showed, yeah. I was like, I want to go. See, I want to see those dicks. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, which one do you want to suck on? Sure. We're trying to figure out how gay you are. If this happened. <laughs> To, to, to determine the severity of the hate crime <laughs> legislation we're about to prosecutalize on this man. <laughs> no, that, would, that would be great. They're trying to figure out exactly how gay you are, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a hate crime, but if it's in a class A, yeah. a class B, we're it trying depends to, on how gay you are, we sir. Gotta, we got to run the numbers. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, man. So now just suck you, yeah, as suck many of it. our cocks. Yeah, why don't you blow us real quick? Until <laughs> you get tuckered out. out. Good afternoon, young man. <laughs> I'm the lead detective in charge of this case. <laughs> My name is Detective uh, Neil Bosby. <laughs> Neil Bosby. That's huh? right. It's <laughs> Detective wow. Neil Bosby. Why don't you take your mouth out to put it on the cock? <laughs> Why don't you pucker your lips and put them on the penis? Mm-hmm. Please. Mm-hmm. That's got it. When are we going to start doing Cosby impressions again? <clears throat> he's in jail, right? That's he got an official yeah, lady thrown He's at in him. jail. Everybody's bitching about Louis C.K.'s resurgence, but when are we going to get the resurgence of Cosby impressions, which oh, I feel like true. you're not allowed to do anymore? No, you're allowed to do them. No, yeah, it's it's now it's even funnier. It's even funnier. It is funnier. How about you know Cos- <laughs> Cosby Nanette? And I pitched that to Netflix. Yep. It was men who raped me. <laughs> It was men who didn't believe me after the rape. And I just want to know why is that okay? They, they, they said, 
Picasso went to his prime at 47 years old, but a 17-year-old girlfriend peaks when is my time to peak is all I want to know. So the whole um, the whole pitch is you doing Nanette verbatim. <laughs> verbatim. <laughs> but as Cosby. But, but as, as one of the world's worst Cosby impressions. <laughs> yeah, just so, not a even, barely serviceable just, one. And then halfway through, it just turns into Dundalk guy. <laughs> yeah. Just like the Irish guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like... Uh, it just, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, what, do you anyway. guys, what, what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> we got any birthdays? <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on? <clears throat> That's why Cat Williams is a legend mm-hmm. doing, uh, for one of his specials, just doing local material for 20 minutes. Dude, Dude yeah, Cat, that I, Jacksonville, I, Jacksonville thing. I don't know awesome. if I've said it on the show. I know I've said it we've, before. We've, yeah, we've sucked Cat, off big Cat time. Williams is the only good comedian. <laughs> 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 no, I mean it. Hands down, like, literally, so good. no one is fucking good at comedy anymore. Cat Williams is the only person that's funny. And he, he's working, he, dude. You see how much he he's really sweating weathered a hilarious storm of like yeah. getting Remember beaten up by a child. By a child. <laughs> <laughs> he got beaten up by a kid and yeah. came back from it. What's up, little boy? He got beat up by a kid. Uh, yeah. Fucking rules. That's so cool. That's what you know, and the, uh, that's the other thing too. Is it's like. Doing something like that reminds you of like what a comedian is supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine being able to be humiliated. <laughs> yes, yes. To like that fucking degree <laughs> and to like fuck up that bad and it's still like, ah, he's still fun. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, this yeah, guy's so yeah, fucking yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. The only thing you're supposed to do is be funny. Yeah, yeah. And if anything, that made him more funny. It's amazing. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I fucking love Cavalier. That fucking that fucking uh yeah. that fucking video where he's like maybe fucked up and he's stealing a target like a cart for like fat people that little electric cart yeah it's fucking hilarious dude mm-hmm. I, I think target after he assaulted <laughs> like a target employee or some <laughs> shit this is Rules. great sorry i'm looking at the comments on the uh rod stewart uh forever young music video uh-huh this guy writes for my lovely brother who got killed at the age of 29 xxxxx nice well but he didn't upload it this he just Huh? Commenting on it yeah, yeah, for yeah. my brother. It's like, this well, comment that's not up to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this comment is dedicated to my dead ass. Who, by the way, I mean, twenty nine is young. But Jesus Christ, that's all the comments here. This song always reminds me of my daughter. She was oh, killed when no. she was only seventeen. <laughs> <and> Jesus <laughs> Christ, forever be seventeen years old. R.I.P. My baby girl. Oh no! Isn't it weird that like, ugh. Ooh, this is. I should not have <laughs> scrolled down. Oh. How is that worse than the idea of him molesting this Fuck, redhead? I, boy? Yeah, I would rather see a picture of that little kid <laughs> sucking his dick. Yeah, I was hoping the comment would be by the way, Rod Stewart molested that boy and he killed himself. <laughs> Not 400 people are like, my daughter was murdered on prom night. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. <clears throat> oh fuck! There have to be so many bad songs that are so meaningful to so yeah. many people, like songs everyone makes fun of mm-hmm. that they're like, "That's my that was my yeah. first dance at my wedding." Of way. course, yeah. This one actually, this one's worse. This song reminds me of my son. Da- I'm not gonna say his full name. It came out when he was younger. He turned thirty on four twenty seven, and he is my best friend and sidekick. We would ride bikes together all around Indiana and Illinois. Hop on the bikes. It <laughs> and rumble down the road just to eat. He is still my boy, and now that he has his own two boys, we all have fun together. I hope he listens to this Boo. song. Fuck off, asshole. <laughs> Everyone else's it. kids are dead. <clears throat> yeah, he's like, actually, he's all you guys with your dead son. ass kids? Yeah. Me and my son have a great relationship. We're best friends. And he's alive, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he gave my him- son, who's living and breathing oxygen. Just loves motorcycles. Yeah. Not only is he alive, we're taunting God every day riding a dangerous ass motorcycle with no helmet. Mm-hmm. And sucking dick. Mm-hmm. I want to suck a hundred dicks. What are you looking at, Adam? Two, one, two guys on the phone at once? Absolutely not. I'm not looking at anything. This is a great comment. He has a very underrated voice. He's no Freddie Mercury, but still. Rod Stewart has a great voice. <laughs> <laughs> An argument with himself. Yeah. He's having, no one is fucking. Oh, look, okay. I'm not saying he's Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> suck on my dick. I want to suck on top of my dick. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not only my son, but also my best friend. Oh, my yeah, God. we don't have to read any more of these, man. 
Um, yeah, a parent should never outlive their children. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking sad. <laughs> that song means so much to people. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> song oh. means so much more when you actually have kids of your own. Damn. So, so many, yeah. I'm hoping. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> this is great. Jose Villarreal responds All child molesters should eat shit and die. <laughs> <laughs> Says, child molaster, M A L A S T E R. Molaster. Yeah. Oh, child child that's a butchering. Yeah. All child molester should eat shit and die. <laughs> Was that just his comment? Jose yeah, 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 yeah. That rules. All right. Jose's Shout got our back. Jason Harrell. Fuck all your kids, faggot. <laughs> no one cares about your nasty <laughs> offspring. For Mark Winberry. Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude. What a yeah. horrible fucking. That's a response to song means so much more when you actually have kids in <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all your kids. <laughs> Why? And then, and then Why are you responding I like know. that? This is what compels a this person. Is, this isn't from somebody whose account name is like right. Xbox. It's Halo. his name. Right. Yeah. Mark Winbear. You can find out where he works. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, if you go to his profile, he's got he's got three playlists. Comedy, and it's a picture of Louis C.K. Hell okay. yeah. One called Strange, and another one that just says Metal. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Let's see what's in Strange. Rare band Disney UFO documentary. Just child pornography. It's, it's all, in Strange. <laughs> Real <laughs> Kind of kooky. It's all yeah. just UFO stuff. Yeah, this guy sounds cool. And then his comedy playlist is literally nothing but Louis C.K. Hell yeah. And then at the very end, Chilean UFO photos. <laughs> 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 so we got some more UFO stuff in the comedy playlist. Hell yeah, I love, I love That's Mark. the worst part of that Louie recording was the guy who was recording it after every punchline was like, oh, he went there. That guy that sounded like Brandon. Yeah, it sounded like Brandon. Yeah. Too, yeah. Oh, oh my God. That's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wait, just what, wrong. What happened? I didn't listen to the whole thing. It was the, the guy, guy recording it. You picked up his responses to every joke. And his he? laugh. His laugh sounded exactly like Brandon's. And he had Brandon's He's laugh. Like choking yeah. Brandon Wardell sounds like a that baby slowed down. Yeah. Ah, fuck, man. Damn, I'm tired. I went to the pulmon pulmonologist. Yeah, what they say? I'm gonna get a sleep study, boys. I'll probably have sleep apnea. You're going to have to sleep with the machine on? Mm -hmm. Every night? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a baby's laugh. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> Hell yes. Oh my god, dude. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds exactly like Brandon Ward. Yeah. So I just got a New York Times update. What? This is the story of your, Sven and Magic. Is small? The best penguin parents at the aquarium in <laughs> Sydney, Australia. And why and they're gay. gay. They just happen to be gay. Ugh. They just happen to be gay. <laughs> dude, the New York Times is losing it. I know. They have all these like I get these like headlines that are like uh, buying shoes in, in Africa, how the women of, you know, <laughs> Nigeria go shopping in <laughs> defiance of, you know, I don't know, a one-hour lunch break. <laughs> determined to not be held back by the constraints of an hour lunch break, women in Nigeria find time to run errands <laughs> when they're out of the office. <laughs> New York Times Explorer. In the 19, we sent 35 journalists and spent <laughs> $82 million <laughs> figuring out what the the women of the, the women of Myanmar do? <laughs> I want to hear about these gay penguins. Have they seen they them suck each other's cocks? The, the powerful well, yeah, the, emotions, the feeling. I thought of, we've of always known that penguins are gay. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought it's like common knowledge that a lot of penguins are gay. No. Yeah. Well, that's why they were the the favorite animal of like the hot topic generation. 
Mm. Oh yeah, they were into penguins, and then yeah. owls got big. Yeah, after that. Well, yeah. owls were big in the seventies. Yeah, but then they had like kind of <laughs> no, a, no, no, no. There was an owl. There was an owl moment. No, there wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. There was no owl moment. Yeah. Penguin for sure. Shut him down, Mr. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Shut this man moment. down. There was not an owl moment. Uh, yeah. When? Who Girls was Girls that owls? kind of liked Wes Anderson kind of stuff. Breast Anderson. Breast Had Anderson. Like, That's they, good. Wait a second. Hold like, on, hold on. We got Breast Anderson in the... In okay, the, let's go for that. Let's royal, go with the that. Royal let's titty bomb. With that. <laughs> the Royal Titty Bomb. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 my name's... Royal titty bomb. <laughs> I, I, I wish I, I... Gene Hackman is so fucking hard. The, the fat titty unlimited. Here's the goddamn problem. The, Here's the goddamn problem. My titties are too big. <laughs> <laughs> nice titties, Coltrane. <laughs> nice fucking titties, goddammit. Bo- goddammit. Bo- booble, booble rocket. Goddammit. How, how the fuck does he talk? I don't know, but that's not even close. It's not. No. The fantastic <laughs> Mr. Fox. I'll tell you what the problem is. I'm fantastic. fucking gay. <laughs> okay, but he's got big tits, though. I've got big tits, <laughs> but I'm fucking gay. <laughs> Listen, baby, I'm dying. <laughs> what? My tits are too big. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Coltrane? <laughs> How the fuck? God damn it. <laughs> what about um, <clears throat> Wer- Werner Herzog? Yeah. yeah, and he hurt his penis. He hurt his I, dick. I, I, I look at my bent penis, permanently <laughs> deformed. It's the insanity I've, of my penis. <laughs> the cruel mockery. I look at the penis. Nature and has claimed me. my penis. The damage not only to my penis but to my soul. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen that? Have you seen that? Uh, that the Antarctica documentary of his? No. Wait, he's he's interviewing the. There's this guy, oh, yeah. the <laughs> penguin guy, yeah. who just lives alone, and he's like the head of the penguin research of Antarctica, and he just lives in solitude with these fucking penguins, and he's like, so tell me, like, are the penguins prone to insanity? <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, dude! What's Wer- what's Werner's big shit? Port of call, l- lieutenant. His big port shit. Port of call, lieutenant. That's it. No, yep. he did. He did the one with the bear. Oh. The guy gets eaten by the bear. Grizzly, Grizzly man. <coughs> and then l- bad lieutenant. Didn't he direct Tits, that? Titsley man. Uh, he directed Bad Lieutenant. Yeah, he's directed a lot of movies. What else? Which is like best movie? He's done a million documentaries. Yeah, I know documentaries. But then he did Wrath of God, which is probably his biggest. What's movie. Wrath of God about? About this conquistador. What about Steven Splugeberg? Nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't even know. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever heard him speak. Steven Splugeberg? I've heard him speak. He runs his mouth about the Holocaust and shit. And how we got to remember and all Ugh, this. Yeah. Boo. Boo. Yawn. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. You find a way to bring it up every episode. <laughs> hey, listen. I got to do my due diligence. My, I got to do my part. <clears throat> We're booing that it happened. <coughs> uh, yeah, that's that's what's going on. Mm-hmm. So who's excited about uh, the new Toy Story? I can't <laughs> wait, man. Yeah. I'm so thrilled. There is a new dude. one? Yep. Yeah, <coughs> Andy's 35 years old. Still playing with toys? Still playing with toys. Buzz, Lightyear's, Buzz Lightyear's got a pocket pussy yeah. extension. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. There's a flashlight that they're all friends with. <laughs> yeah. Tim Allen made sure that Buzz Lightyear gets to talk he, about conservative what, politics. Yeah. What he's like, what he's like, why aren't we able to die? <laughs> <laughs> what cruel fate is this? I Do wish to follow this man I wish around? Sid had murdered me. Yeah. Those were the lucky toys. It I think turns we're, out. We're, we're tapped out on Toy Story jokes. I think that peaked. I I don't recall what <clears> the context was. What about Boy Story? I remember there was one where uh, you just see a little foot that says Andy on the bottom coming out of his ass. <laughs> 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 you got a friend in me. <laughs> you got a friend in me. Mm-hmm. Quite literally, I've shoved you up my <laughs> ass, boy. You've got a friend in me. Mm. Does Randy Newman have Down syndrome? Why does he sound like that? Uh, big tongue. He's trying to go yeah. do a jazzy African American thing. I don't know how to read. Um, <laughs> he says that. We've I talked about this. I don't know how to read. He goes hard R in a song. 
Yep. And he shouts it. Uh, ooh, blanks of London. <laughs> Warren, <laughs> it's not a Randy. That's, that's Warren Zevon. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. It's not the song, not Randy Newman. <laughs> It sounds like it could be. You him. could just say "n words in London." Yeah, yeah. Fits N syllabically. Words in London. Ah, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> n words. In you know, I, I pull my pants all the way down to pee. <laughs> <laughs> I pull my pants all the way down to pee. <laughs> I can't just undo the zipper. I piss myself, boy. I pull my pants all the way down to pee. <laughs> Candy, Candy, Candy Newman, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Dude, and you said we were tapped out on Toy Story. We got Toy Story Randy, adjacent. That's Randy Newman stuff. That's right. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Watch out. Watch for, watch for the speaker, Adam. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, Adam. Come on, Come on Adam. Adam. Come on, Adam, man. <laughs> Come on, Adam. Don't dang suck on, my dick. Not, dang on, Adam, man. Come on, Adam. I've got... God damn it, Adam. I've got a small oh, ass dick. Don't touch that fucking speaker. <laughs> How the fuck? Why? I wish. That's the one I wish I could do. I can't even think of my Gene head. That last one, if you were in Gene Hackman makeup, it would be serviceable. It, I, listen. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm too gay for any of this. <laughs> No, My he... tits are too big. <laughs> My tits are too goddamn big. <laughs> You've never lived with tits this fucking big. <laughs> Listen to me, goddammit. Your tits have never been this fucking big. <laughs> I love the idea of just Gene just Hagman with, big with double D's. huge tits. Well, that's <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you. They made my tits too fucking big. <laughs> It's not just a fucking State Department. It's the whole government. <laughs> uh, Lex Luthor, mm -hmm. his most famous role. He played Lex Luthor? <laughs> yeah, he did. I didn't even know that. In the first one, in the, like, Christopher Oh, Reeves that's Superman. right, he did. It was a weird-ass movie, man. Yeah, I, I think that was those were kind of before our time. Those were, like, in the yeah, early Yeah, but I 80s. used to love, when I was a little kid, I loved Superman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was my guy. <coughs> DC and guy. So I watched all I watched those movies and they were kind of fucking butt cheeks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, it kind of turned me off. And What's then, his deal? He's a businessman, but he also he has like a jewel he uses to he's threaten a reporter. A, an alien. Oh, who are you talking about? Lex uh, Luthor. Lex Luthor? Yeah. He's a business, but he also he's likes bald. bringing a jewel to this superhero to yeah, scare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants. Yeah. Is Lex Luthor even like a bad? Does he do anything bad or he just I like think he, threatening yeah, he wants Superman? To like, he uh, wants to like. Yeah. He Dude. wants to do what? Make money? That's legal. Yeah. Why is Superman stopping him? Because he's a journalist, man. Mm -hmm. He's, he's a not a journalist. Yeah, Clark Kent. No, he's a fucking media stooge. What Ooh. do you mean a media stooge? He has a fucking... It, what is it called when the mob, where they give you a job that isn't real? No-show? A patsy? A no-show no. job. Yeah, but there's another name for it other than no-show job. Maybe we'll all have to sit down and watch The Sopranos. <laughs> all right, let's um, go. Put it Fuck, back what's it called? Uh, God damn it. <clears throat> yeah, Lex Luthor's big business, dude. Lex Luthor's basically Jeff Bezos. I've got big business. It's a big pair of tits. <laughs> it's a big goddamn pair of tits. <laughs> <laughs> this pair of tits weren't so fucking big. Maybe I'd be able to suck my own dick again. <laughs> what did young Gene Hackman look like? He was never young. He was never young. Yeah, he was born at 65 years old. Ne nice. Never young. <laughs> never young. Just Rod Stewart cradling a full-grown Gene Hackman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kissing him when on the forehead. When I look into your eyes and your whole giant breast. <laughs> God damn it, my tits are too big. <laughs> and I know that your breasts will always be big as shit. Stop kissing my big fucking tits. <laughs> you fucking queer. <laughs> <laughs> and when I suck on your nipples too, and your nipples get hard for me, never young. Get your fucking gay mouth off my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> God, dude, Gina <laughs> with that is, is my favorite character. <laughs> Rod Stewart kissing and he's, him. He's, <laughs> he also is helpless against Rod Stewart for some reason. Get me off your fucking lap, you fucking Nancy. <laughs> Listen to me, you fucking Nancy. <laughs> you take my fucking tits out of your mouth. Fuck. 
That one got me so good. <laughs> Get your hands off my tits, you fucking assy, you fucking homo. Get your fucking sissy hands off my tits. <laughs> Stop sucking my tits. <laughs> when your tits get hot, <laughs> I'm sucking you up. <laughs> it's in the back of that pickup truck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> it is funny to think of Gene Hackman with titties, boy. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I can't wait to have my sleep study done, though, man. I'm going to be unstoppable when I have a CPAP mask. I have so much energy. Uh, uh, wait, what is sleep apnea means you're too fat you're fat to as sleep. shit to sleep. Yeah, you're too fat and to sleep. And you might kill yourself. Yeah, basically. That's scary, man. Yeah, I hope I don't fucking die in my sleep. That would be... <clears throat> Incredibly little dick. You never hear about someone dying from sleep apnea. It happens. I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of a single famous person that died from sleep apnea. Yeah, but maybe they die overdosing on shit to help them go to sleep. You ever think of that? Mm. Do you have trouble falling asleep? The war. I have so much trouble falling asleep because you can't breathe good. I just. I don't know. Well, good luck. A lot of anxiety. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred. What's that? I'm I'm gonna. You should get them to (coughs) do a. a You're gonna put electrodes on my cock and shit. Mm. Yeah, a beat study. Yeah. So your medical opinion is that I'm too fat. Mm -hmm. I love that joke because it's like yes, (laughs) (laughs) it's literally a problem. (laughs) <laughs> it's not. We're supposed it has to, nothing to do with pissing, man. The audience is supposed to be like, "Wow, that doctor's an idiot for saying he that is. Your, prob- your problem is." It's that a you're different mor- fucking thing. morbidly obese. <laughs> um, it was yeah, a good I'm, joke. I mean, it was funny. You worded it in a funny way, but it doesn't make any sense. It does make sense, man. You, if you piss too much, it's not because you're fat. It, if a doctor tells you you're pissing, no, he was a piece of shit doctor. He had his fucking windbreaker on. He he, had, he literally was holding tennis a tennis racket. He was on his fucking way out. <laughs> Wait, you I'm just not met a guy at a tennis. Court. No, man, he was his fucking. <laughs> you're like sucker. doctor. I he just went to <laughs> 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 sketch comedy. <laughs> doctor. <laughs> doctor, I was like, sir, I'm not a doctor. Doctor, no, please, I'm he a was this guy, much. doctor, just something, just doctor, just something. something. It was like a Polish Giz fucking Monty, name, dude. It's the guy from The Sopranos. No, he was. <laughs> He was like my shitty dentist's cousin, which I should have known was a problem. And the dentist was, they gave you that tooth? No, 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 different. That was Greek dentist. <clears throat> uh, he was like related to him somehow. I think his wife or some shit. Anyway, this fucking piece of shit was gonna leave. It was like I was his last patient before like a fucking long weekend playing tennis or some shit. And he literally had a fucking. Uh, I can't help you. I'm gonna play tennis for the entire weekend. <laughs> And they was just yeah, like, we do ah, a forty-eight hour marathon tennis game. It Whatever. must be Fuck exhausting. Him. Jazowski or some shit yeah. at GBMC, I think. So fuck no, don't don't do a coordinated harassment against him. Yeah, well, you already said too many information. No, I, w- I, I was f- I was fucking up his name. That's the doctor that gave me this big goddamn. <laughs> <head>. <laughs> <laughs> You go in for a, like a colonoscopy and wake up with tits. Yeah, I can't I can't differentiate between him and Rip Torn. Mm, that is because that's a good rip torn. That's actually. a better rip torn. Than I can do an even better rip torn than that. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good rip torn. Well, maybe I should have done the joke where it's a rip torn with a big pair of tits. <laughs> that still funny. works, man. Run it that's back. It's me, tit torn here. <laughs> tit torn. Now do do him, but it's Rod I'm Stewart. Gonna rip rip my own shirt open with these big pair of tits. <laughs> yeah, Larry. You gotta do the show and you gotta suck my tits. You're gonna suck my tits. <laughs> <clears throat> if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge my tits. If you can dodge a child pornography charge, <laughs> <laughs> you can dodge a domestic abuse charge. Remember when he went into that bank with a gun? That was awesome. <laughs> he thought it was his house. <laughs> that was <laughs> so <laughs> fucking awesome. The bug shot. That's the thing, man. The girls are trying to make it so they don't make men like that anymore. Yeah. And I don't, I don't want to live nope, in that world. I agree. <laughs> that guy rules, dude. Yeah. Did he have a child Get pornography? Get the fuck thing? out of my house. No. Did he? Did he have child, a child pornography charge? No, no. No, okay. Thank God. No. I was just, the king. I, was, I, was, I, I can't think on my feet. No, because I thought he might have. He seems like the kind of guy who... No, nah, you're thinking of Jeffrey uh, Jones. No. Epstein? Jeffrey Jones. Jeffrey Jones. I don't know who that is. Yes, you do. 
No. The actor Jeffrey Jones. You know who he is. Mm-mm. The principal from... Uh, uh, Bel Air, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. No. Saved by the Bell. You didn't even let me get started. <laughs> saved by the Bell. Saved no, by the Bell. Not Mr. Belding. No. Fucking uh, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Out. Oh, really? That guy had a child porn charge? Yeah, he was making his own. Yeah, that child. redhead. No. Guy. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was in. Uh, he was in Deadwood too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The and guy I was really like, hope they bring him back for the movie. Wait, the guy with. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I'm thinking of a different guy. The newsman from Deadwood. You never saw that. No. Was he also in Breakfast Club? He's like, if you go to his Wikipedia page, there's no section for it. But if you go to personal life, there's a <laughs> heading that says legal troubles. <laughs> In 2002, <laughs> Jones was arrested for possession of child pornography and accused of soliciting a 14-year-old boy to pose nude for oh, photographs. Oh, no. Yeah, in 2003, he played no contest to a felony charge of soliciting a minor. Mm. No contest. Did he suck the 14-year-olds mm. off? Yeah, his attorney Damn, emphasized that there was no sucks. allegation of improper physical contact. Okay, that's sort of his something, punishment was five years probation. Honestly? Counseling. If you never fuck the kids? For pics? Did you get a couple pics? You, ever, you heard it here <laughs> first, folks. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying it's good, mm-hmm. but if what you could were we eliminate, talking about at lunch the other day, if oh, you could R eliminate, Kelly. if you could eliminate everyone fucking kids mm-hmm. by letting them take a couple yeah. pictures, yeah, that's not a bad. Compromise. We were also talking about it at lunch the other day because R. Kelly has has said in songs that he has a 12 inch penis. It should make the severity of the crime worse. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you should be. Able, yeah, it should be a worse yes. crime if you can prove legally that your penis is child size. If you have a child size penis, there it's should be leniency, leniency from the yes. from the justice from the <laughs> court, <laughs> from the honorable your honor. What does this guy look like, John Jones? He's a redhead. Oh like, shit, mustache guy. That Rod Stewart Forever Young song was a Bob Dylan song. It's a cover. Yeah, it's the cover. Oh. Of the oh, it's Bob Dylan, not Crosby, Stills. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, the um, redhead? Yeah, but it's a different, like, it's like a, it's a different take on that song. Different take. What does he look like? Oh, the take is that Gene Hackman is. <laughs> it's a different. He's a little baby with big tits. He's yeah, yeah, an yeah, old yeah. man baby with I'm big tits. I'm a fucking baby. <laughs> God damn it, I'm a fucking baby. <laughs> big ass Listen dude. to me, I'm a fucking baby. <laughs> Stop kissing my baby, yeah. my big baby tits. Stop kissing my fucking big baby tits. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's it's close. It's somewhere. <laughs> you think I'm the only baby with big tits? The first baby to have a big juicy pair of tits? What are you fucking simple? <laughs> I'm just picturing his head yeah. on a baby's body, <laughs> but with huge fucking tits. Oh, God. What's the matter, you fucking queer? You've never seen a baby with big tits? <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Forever gay. All right. I want to suck my little Are you dick. ending the show, Adam? <clears throat> you have to con- walk ISIS after <sighs> contributing nothing. Listen, man, we can we can keep talking about Gene Hackman I being a baby. With I big can, I've just I've I've uh, yeah. You're <laughs> deciding we're done. I haven't decided anything. Okay, I just said all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you looked at the and you hovered your finger. Over you know what's really I all right? My finger. Yeah. Hanging out with good pals. I love hanging out with you guys. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, it's the only thing I really do anymore. That's true. Yeah. Well, no, you, uh, you, you've you been cooking Japanese food. And you go to the gym. I have been cooking Japanese food. That's something. Yeah, it's nice. Dude, it's easy. Yeah. You'd think it would be hard, you know, because they love... All this all bullshit. The yeah, they love and, fucking bullshit. And, but, and numbers and shit. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, the Japanese <coughs> are really just dressed up Chinese people. You know? <laughs> Underneath it all, there's zero culture. <laughs> no, they have, like, a, a very rich cultural <laughs> history. <laughs> you know... I guess maybe that's true also. Yeah, yeah the yeah. emperor and shit there, like that. The shogun, you know, art and shit mm-hmm. like that. Kabuki theater. Bukaki theater. Bukaki theater. Is Bukaki Japanese? Traditionally? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So Japanese were. They invented busting. 
Whoa. They were the first society to bust That's with pretty. your boys and one girl. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fun. Yeah. Well, it's you, What do you say? We get a couple fellas over here, get one girl over here, mm-hmm. jack off on her face? You know what? I think we got enough fellas. You yeah. think just us? Just us. Is that a full bukkake? And my fiance. <laughs> it feels like it needs to be over four. A bukkake? I think three is a minimum bukkake. No, I would say five. There's definitely Japanese shogun rules. I would say at least five to be a full proper bukkake. I would love to be a shogun. Four is a half bukkake. Three and under is just a gangbang. I would love to be a ronin leader. Yeah. You know? You can't Mm -hmm. be a ronin leader. Why? Because a ronin is a samurai whose master is dead. Yeah, so he travels. So he travels around. Travels around. So he's a lone lone wolf. He's got a cat. cat Wait, what happened? Doesn't he have. He doesn't he become no. master? No. No, no. He's what? he's masterless. He's masterless. And it, you're so supposed he, to commit seppuku if your master dies. And if mm-hmm. you refuse to, you become Ronin. And then you're a traveling samurai. Oh, that's awesome. And you do crime. Come on, man. Haven't you seen Yojimbo you become a mercenary. or no. Sanjuro? Or nope. Ronin, the beginning of the movie where they describe what a Ronin is. Yeah. No. Yeah. But I would love Wait that a here. second. Hold on. You just have to have a master your whole life? Yeah. So, yeah, it's like who, a, in who, feudal Japan. You, you have had to a suck lord. off as like a 14-year-old boy. All right. Oh, damn. For yeah. real? Yeah. Do you, I thought the do samurai... You have to keep all them? samurai were molested. Do you have to keep sucking them off? And that's what... No, I think there was like a an boy love code. aspect. That's crazy because that's... I mean, Greek people... That was when when you were getting trained, you sucked the guy off. Yeah. And then afterwards, you stopped the gay shit. And yeah. in fact, they made fun of you if you liked getting fucked as an adult by yeah. men. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, no yeah. joke. There was like a... There's this... There's like a... There's like a the ancient Greek word is like wide assed guys, <laughs> and that was the word for like you'd like getting fucked as an adult. Yeah, well, there's yeah. a difference <laughs> between. But when you're a kid, of course you get fucked. Between yeah. Yeah. Like men that's having <laughs> sex. Well, I thought it's your thighs, no? No, I think they fully fuck their asses. Oh, well, yeah. okay. Yeah. There's a difference between two gross men having sex and one sexy hot boy mm-hmm. who's Cute learning. Yep. He's eager for knowledge. Blushing, a blushing boy oh getting my fucked. God. In the let's ass. get back Sheiks? to the fantasy realm of Ronin. Okay. Yeah. Now hold on. But, but okay, so well, let's get back to leader. it. Hold you on. Would just be a, but just I want to just be I've surrounded clarified. by those like those drums are like boom. I've clarifying questions though. Just that yeah, noise yeah. That's all the cool. time. That's cool. Boom. Yeah. yeah. That I'm just sitting in like some temple with a sword contemplating murdering an entire village. Mm-hmm. Well, getting you drunk just, like, off sake. Okay. You would do different jobs and stuff. Like people would hire you as like a mercenary. That's cool. To like Like he does not speak a Japanese. <laughs> Nobody was shooting a guri a kara but a kara. You're in a fucking Sarku Japan. You're in a fucking mall food court. <laughs> the closest table to the Sarku. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing a dress made out of plastic spoons. <laughs> All taped together. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shit I found in the garbage on my head. <laughs> the horns. She should be a pudding guy. Look at So you just have to. You just have to wait for your master to die. You don't get to become a master. No, if you let your master die, like it, it, it's considered a shame. If you let, like, what I don't if he know. He dies if, of natural causes. I think if you let him be killed or something. Okay, that makes sense to me. Yeah, then you walk around because you maybe, should die. Maybe if it's of him. natural causes too. But I always assumed what? it was if you, if you died by being killed. So you don't ever get to become a master? What the fuck? No, you're. It's like a you have a lord. It's like feudal. It's like there's what a lord. You? Oh, I and see. you're like a knight. You know, Damn, that sucks. You're a knight for that lord. Yeah. Oh, fuck that, dude. And then if he dies, you're supposed to commit. Seppuku. Shit. Fuck that. I'm not doing that shit. No, I kind of want to watch Yojimbo again. What's Yojimbo? It's uh, a good movie. It's a Kurosawa movie. Mm. You probably like it. That sounds good. Yeah. yeah. I'm fucking good. I'm fucking good. Dong, dong. Dong, dong. My penis is a small aru. Fuck. Fuck a cuckoo. 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 Fuck a cuckoo.
This has got to be at least two or three Japanese. You words got a couple there. words. Oh yeah. yeah. For sure. Can you tell if you're watching a movie in a different language if the guy's acting good or not? Yeah. Yeah. You can. You think you can't, but yeah. you can. You I can. feel like I can't. Yeah, because you, you don't have the discerning eye. You don't have the discerning eye. I feel like those guys from Kurosawa movies. If it was in English, I would be like, "This is wait, maybe Kurosawa." Not good. I thought that was cartoons. Akira Kurosawa. You're right. You're right, dude. You Isn't did, that you fading, did think that. drifting away? No, no, that's uh, Mur- Murakami. Murakami. Mur- Murazaki or Miyazaki. Miyazaki. Oh yeah, Miyazaki. Murakami okay. is the Kanye guy. Yeah, who's Murakami? Or Murakami did the college. The graduation. Oh, cover, really? The tr- the flying oh. bear and stuff. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fuck with that. Yeah. Bong um, bong bong bong. Burikatsu Burabatu. I put it to 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 the best impression yet. <laughs> and Adam comes through. I put it to 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 the best one of the, the best three. one anyone's ever done. No one's done it better than that yet. It definitely <laughs> needed to be one up. No. <laughs> A we, buricato. I'm a not. Oh, I'll, just, a I'll try. Diddy, buru, buru, I'll try. Buru, diddy, diddy. We need it. I'll try better. one next up. Well, we need it. A, a buri diddy butter. Bra bra bra. I can't wait till this podcast is nothing but baby talk. <laughs> God fucking damn it! <laughs> Get off my baby tits! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody put my baby dick in their mouth! <laughs> I'm having a conversation out there about my tits. <laughs> I've got all this spy equipment <laughs> to figure out when people are talking about my tits. <laughs> it was actually one of Coppola's uh, best films. Sure. Un- unnoticed. Because, oh, you thought I was doing you. I thought you were doing I was cool just Adam doing a again. guy in general, but I'm it glad. It sounded that a lot that like our friend Cool Adam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually. I love Cool Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> what if yeah, Cool actually, Adam was? Would you just say oh, before Adam the show? The whole time? No, would you say before the show? Yeah, I watched Ronan at seven a.m. this morning. They wrote a screenplay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't write a screenplay. I started writing. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Mm-hmm. Don't ever quote me directly again. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I did start watching Ronan at seven a.m. Yeah. Yeah. It felt great. It felt like a kid waking up to watch Saturday morning cartoons. But where I'm from in Tasmania. Are you doing Australia? I'm oh, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking yeah. gay. People. Bong, bong. Yeah, that shit rules, dude. I want to sleep on a on a mat, roll my mat out, you know, mm-hmm. eat my little piece of fish with my rice ball. Yep. Take a fucking katana, just murder an entire village. Okay. Just come down from the mountains. Mm-hmm. Descend upon it. Like Descend death. upon them, yeah. The village. I guess I could do that now. There's you no could reason with a why gun. Could. Yeah, and, and you know it's weird. In like a hundred years, they're gonna look back on guys like um, Adam Lanza and, mm-hmm. and Adam Friedland, Adam Lanza and and uh, Ted Kaczynski and Omar uh, Mateen, Mateen and fucking uh, Stephen uh, Paddock, Paddock as like the Ronin. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> These guys, the wandering <laughs> warriors without a, a master. Mm-hmm. So true. Yeah. Their master was taken from them yeah. by feminists, <laughs> and they had no, mm-hmm. and they had no option. They had no option. <laughs> 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 oh damn, my dick is so juicy. In the year two thousand seven, during the Obama period, <laughs> <laughs> during the ancient Obama period of neo neo Japan, they don't even remember the name of America. <laughs> it's just called Japan Two. Mm-hmm. Neo Yokio, there's Japan that show. Two. You look like you have to like shit real bad. When you I, the show. So I might have to. I might have to piss. Yeah. But I'm a pro. I'll hold it, Adam. Yeah. I can't. I my bladder's been so overactive recently. You might have pussy problems, dude. Yeah. You keep shitting. You keep pissing. My man's vagina too. My wide. pussy's fine. <laughs> <laughs> my pussy. My pussy perfect. You pussy know clean. when? Do, you know. My pussy small and perfect. <clears throat> Incorrect. Not true, bitch. You have a gross big pussy. It's like you'd have a gross little pussy if you had a pussy. 
No way, dude. Yeah, you would. I'd have a gross. I've. I mean, I'd have a sexy. No. Small. You'd have a gross pussy. Pink little. No sir. Gorgeous little. No sirry Bob. Dewy. Mm-mm. Cute little nope. with a little bow on no, top. No, you wouldn't. Gorgeous. You'd have an ugly pussy. Landing <laughs> s- strip. Would you get your <clears throat> beautiful? Would you get a landing strip now? Would you, you guys don't get landing strips? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Do you, are you think gay guys are into like uh, creative waxing? Probably. Probably so. I would say they they're go well, to the fucking. Waxer. They're well groomed. Otherwise, why would Quagmire have a cue in his pubes? I'm mm-hmm. a Family Guy. Mm-hmm. That's funny. Did you see uh, that Trump app? Of Family Guy? Uh, you mean the thing that I took a picture of? Oh and sent yeah, to you, you sent it to us. <laughs> the thing that you didn't see? <laughs> it was on Twitter. No, uh, the thing you uh, didn't see that I took a picture uh, of and sent to you, fun. and then you asked me if I saw. He it. did send it to the chat, man. Yeah. He did. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> Peter and Trump. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I was no, watching. No, was, no, don't do this thing. Where that you was laugh. awesome. You did do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Adam, you did. Des- you deserve this one. Man. It was all over online yeah the but however day. stop and you can admit that nick you're not online anymore. it was online but nick was the way you came you first. i forgot that nick sent us a picture because <laughs> he was watching family guy for some reason it's a good Sunday. show dude. you watch like, every episode. i watch every episode of family Guy. that He's that super shit fan. was there was a it was a fight yeah right of it lois damn you lois <laughs> that's great <laughs> oh the Stevie? baby wants to kill the mom He's gay yeah He's i'm gay, gay lois He's gay and he hates his mom. Yeah. Damn, the guy who created Family Guy is definitely gay then, right? Except yeah. yeah. Oh, is that who created it? I thought Stu- oh, Stewie Griffith did. Yeah, it was Stewie Griffith. <laughs> Stewie Griffith. <laughs> 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 he thought he was the writer. <laughs> he wrote the Wait, show. what? Stewie didn't write the show? I thought Stewie wrote the show. He's the smartest. I thought Brian wrote it. <laughs> Brian Stevenson. <the> dog. <laughs> didn't they kill oh, the my dog? B- my boss. His yeah. name is... People were really sad. They killed him? Uh-huh. Was they he in that episode? R.I.P. Brian. I don't know. I don't actually watch it. They him. brought him <laughs> back. <laughs> they, they brought him back? Because the fans were so upset yeah. about him being killed. They should bring back a poo as the dog on The Simpsons. As the new Santa's <laughs> little <laughs> As an Indian dog. <laughs> well, what? You believe in reincarnation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. <laughs> yeah, he came back as a dog. Look, he's not an Indian guy. It's a fucking dog. I mean, yeah. he can talk like whatever. So do you want to do the voice or not, Mr. Condobolu? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can play a dog who's a slave to the family. <laughs> and his job is to eat the feces out of the Simpsons' asses. So that'll be the character you're playing. Oh. <laughs> uh. I just put on some chapstick. Yeah, my lips got all dried out the other day. Kept me up at night. I got medically, I got I, my shit got medically dry, dude. The yeah. I went to a dermatologist. I'm going to every doctor, motherfucker. I'm I gonna know. Be, I'm gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna be. I'm the healthiest man alive. And they gave me, lo- they prescribed me lotion to get my fucking shit right. Lip lotion. Yeah. No, no, no. My whole body. You got lotion for your whole body. Mm-hmm. Like what they do with the whales at SeaWorld. No, like what they do to people. Do they lotion whales? Yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they put lotion on them. <laughs> put cocoa butter on <laughs> Yeah, I'm a, I'm a whale rubber. <laughs> yeah. I rub whales at SeaWorld. Mm-hmm. No, I'm lotioning up, dude. Girls lotion themselves. I'm like a girl now. Yeah. Yeah, black people do too. Yep, that's true. Whoa, easy. The foremost users of lotion, I would say. Yeah. They love black right. people. Yeah. <clears throat> I always had supple, oily, Mediterranean it's, you know, skin. It's, it's funny. It's like, you know, there's that complaint that they only make Band-Aids in like white skin color or whatever. But like, I've never seen a black person wear a Band-Aid anyways. Mm. Nelly. I don't think they get paper cuts. Nelly, <laughs> Nelly wore a Band-Aid on his and face. And it wouldn't make any sense if it was a black Band-Aid. Mm-hmm. If it was a black skin colored Band-Aid, you'd be like, what's happened to his face? He was a little light skinned. You can but, tell the trend. But but it uh it accentuate it I got it yeah mm-hmm. you know you think black bandage wouldn't make sense no they make them now but it's oh, like yeah, yeah. I don't I don't think Ebony. black people are getting paper cuts well that's not make. the only thing you use a bandaid for I don't know what are you using for they have other cuts yeah you know I don't think they have accidents. <laughs> What about sports players that get injured, man? You don't use a band aid for a sports injury. Sometimes some very minor ones. Finger jammings. Mm-hmm. You know? 
Um, <clears throat> what about, you know, the fact that what you're saying is completely false? That's true. <laughs> that's how, that's correct. That's another way to look at it. There's many different ways to interpret. But also, I feel like uh, no, it's a beige. It's a weird band aid color. Is no one really looks good with it? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like Iranians. They're really the only people that the oh. band aid makes sense for. Now, Sham, I've got good news. I've got new band aids. <laughs> <laughs> Mersham, look at this this band-aid that put it on my penis. It is the same color. <laughs> it is the same color as my penis. My wife does not know that uh, you bit uh, part of my penis tip uh, <laughs> while we were having good sex. <laughs> she doesn't know. You need an intro so, of this character, Nick. Uh, it's an Iranian guy who's gay. <laughs> No, Sorry, no, I didn't no, realize no. I had to intro this character. <laughs> no, no, there's another Sorry, dimension. Sorry, bro. hey, look, if you couldn't put no, that one together, Nick, no, it's an Iranian another. guy who has band aids. No, that's a different that's, character, Adam. We're, that's a different character. Terrorist than, gay guy is different than the Iranian no, guy. No, I thought it's gay. Iranian guy that the FBI is listening to. Yeah, but there's no way. That's not funny outside of um, like the. Um, rec- yeah, you need the recording to, you element. You have to do recording element. Well, this is a podcast. It's all a recording. No, man, yeah, it, it has sounds, to be coming through a phone. There's this sound quality. When I do it through the phone, it's funnier. It's so the much phone. funnier. Now I have to explain that, <laughs> you which I wasn't doing. It's funny, dude. It's a different funny character, bit. A, a joke for just us boys. Just for the boys. Can't we have anything? All right, re- so let's keep it to ourselves. Recorded in telephone We quality. don't have to live out loud like that. The joke is the FBI is spying on an Iranian man. <laughs> Because they think he's a terrorist, and all of his phone calls that they're spying on are just him t- telling another Iranian man that his penis is too small. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for the gay doctor. Sex. Yeah. The doctor told him. Yeah. <laughs> the doctor. <laughs> the doctor. Uh, uh, Mayor Sean, I have bad news. <laughs> it is um, my wife just said to me that my penis is too small. Uh, <laughs> But uh, if you want, uh, you can come over to look at uh, my penis, <laughs> and we can see if uh, my penis is uh, as small as yours. And I think my wife, if uh, I'm able to uh, take a picture to send to my wife to show her that my penis is not uh, in uh, too small, but uh, yours is not too much bigger, maybe she will uh, stop uh, go to uh, have sex with uh, people at her job. Uh, and a happy Ramadan to you. And to your family. <laughs> 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 Just the FBI in bands with headphones on listening to this guy. He's dropping on a cucked gay <laughs> Iranian man with a medically too small penis <laughs> yeah. to have gay sex with. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's got to do it. Bye. But bye. But bye. But bye.